Hi everybody welcome to let's roll john created today we are going to continue this is the part 4 tutorial and next part will be the final tutorial for this so in this we are going to complete the other buttons and uh, next video we are going to see completely textures for this additional buttons what we are going to complete and if you are very very new to this channel kindly subscribe the channel and if you like the video share it with your friends and if you are very very new to the 3d modeling see my older beginner videos so you will understand what's happening about the x tools fine let's begin go to edit mode and select the face go to the top view now face has been selected and before that uh, okay let it be the same so go to top view and press i to insert and before inserting we have to do some changes here select the individual origins i to insert and right click subdivide select the vertices okay now right click and go to the loop tools and create your circle and scale it down and select the center and x to delete the vertices and select these edges after selecting the vertices press shift d to right click press g z to move towards up so we will check that one later and uh, before that so we can uh, again select all the vertices now it has been selected you can able to see now okay now after doing this press e to extrude in z axis and go to the edge selection select all the edges like this so whenever doing the modeling always it take time you should have patient to do, do the 3d modeling so then only it will come accuracy accuracy will be there and it will be too good so if you are in a hurry very hurry very you can't do the modeling at all you should be very patient patient right so i created the edge loops now you can able to see the shape has been created right click share smooth now go to edit mode and select the circles and go to the vertices e to extrude in z axis e to extrude scale so you can see here like this gz scale it down e to extrude z axis and scale it down gz scale slightly out gz scale down and G set scale it slightly inside M to merge at center. Okay, sorry. Uh, press F to fill that, and let's see. Yeah, button shape button has been created. Now this one we are going to uh, make it separate actually, and because for the coloring purpose. So go to edit one how to make the object separately select the object with the vertices or uh, edge or uh, face selection anything press ctrl l to select the linked one press p and make the selection now it has been uh, separated and you can able to see that now i just select the 
edges and press control b to bevel and i make this shape so it looks better i save it now this also we have to make it separate separate object because the each thing will be having the separate separate material if we can assign it separate separate also is not a problem uh, okay we can do it like that it will be easier to join the buttons right gz to move towards this go to the top view scale it sorry uh, i make it go to edit mode now select the things separately press ctrl l and press s to scale so which will make the individual origins now go to the c yeah g set to move down yeah it now it looks better the buttons okay Put top view and G X to move slightly here. Yeah, now looks better. So we can go to the material preview and see. I think it will be in black. Yeah, it's completely in black. So this button we are going to uh, modify further in further sections. Okay, next video we are going to give coloring and uh, texturing for that. Okay, let's uh, continue the other buttons now. Here select this face, this face and I to insert and subdivide it again subdivide and go to the top view, scale it in x axis and go to the edge selection, scale it in x, sorry. Okay, I got one idea to do this. Um, before that, I just turn on the screen casting. Fine. So, G X minus 10. Select this G X 10. G X 0.8. Sorry. Uh, G X minus 8. G X minus H G X H G X H so now I'm going to select this thing and E to extrude in Z axis So I make the bevel option here. So that looks start smooth. Okay. And here this section also I make it bevel. Go to the it's uh, vertices selection, right click subdivided by 3, 1, 2, okay, 2 times it's, it's enough, select this, join, select this, join, select this, join, so now you can able to see the cool look here, so which has came perfect for us, the same way I am going to do it in this way, right click subdivide 2 times and join, join join so now you can able to see the cool option button has been came so we are going to do further in this thing i am going to select these face select 
shift D to duplicate right click and E to extrude in Z axis. And go to the edge selection, select all the corner of the edges. And control V to bevel. So now it has came one separate button. So the same way I am going to do it here. What happens when I scrape like this? Okay, not look nice. Fine. The same way I'm going to do it here for this. Go to the top view. And before that, I make it subdivided by 3. I join this. I join this. And I join this. Select this one subdivided, sorry, subdivided by two times. Join, join, and join. Then G X ten, G X ten, sorry, G X minus ten. G X minus H sorry G X minus H G X minus H G X H G X eight. So after doing this I'm going to select the face once again. So the same method I'm going to uh, repeat here. E to so we can do some uh, covering here e text in z axis set make it okay now go to the edge selection select the edges the same way i'm going to select it in bottom so you can uh, control b to bevel so we can make it the same way looking here yeah it has been ready so i create a circle select and select everything easily and e to extrude in z axis so i made the same height using the control key and uh, now you can go to the median point Control B to bevel. So now our button has been ready, which is will be the home and others will be the thing. So next video we are going to see the complete tutorial. Uh, next video is going to complete uh, with doing the complete texturing for this. And uh, we are going to do some texturing for the same and for the things going to complete in next video. And uh, in this we can make one more some other point also we can add so i will tell you what is that go to edit mode and before that shift h to unhide everything go to edit mode and here uh, go to the face selection select this press ctrl plus 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 and shift yes cursor to 3d and now in this i am going to add a text Yeah, sorry for the delay, just a minute. So let me see, no said. 
yeah here is the text so i did the mistake i'm sorry for that uh, we have to check it in object mode i press y and go to edit mode go to top and g to move and s to scale g to move and s to make it bigger and g to move and s to make it bigger and g to move and i make it gz to go down and go to the front view i just rotate it slightly like this okay i go to the top view and gx to move almost the center and i am going to duplicate this shift d and here shift d and x sorry shift d and x okay i think i made uh, several times so i go to the top and shift d and uh, y and gx shift d and x and shift d and we can make it uh, here fine i go to edit mode and uh, sorry okay i go view it like this but so i delete it and i make it is this is as a and go to edit mode go to the top view and g to move okay now select this one go to edit mode and make it b and go now you can do the alignments and select this go to edit mode and make it x go to top view and g to move that okay now uh, for this each object so i am going to do it uh, okay right and write it slightly down hi and view so i'll touch and uh, okay zoom it in select this select this select this select this shift h okay go to front view okay fine so now this one each one we are going to give the coloring for this so in this part i will complete for this only one coloring go to thing and create new and uh, make it b and make it this one is uh, slightly red okay make it pure red and this one make it y and this one i make it yellow yeah and i make it this one light okay and this also i make it a uh, light and that the x i am going to give it as blue 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 uh, blue 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 yeah made it blue and a is going to be a uh, green make it green okay now uh, in this we are going to apply a common uh, thing so i'll just remove this for this and i create a new material and make it as uh, button and i go to the shading editor tool so here i press period key and go to the metal preview and here i am going to add a complete transmission to one and roughness zero and i go to this texture properties instead of alpha i am going to give for alpha blend so now you can able to see the belonging things okay 
I got edit mode and now okay I go to the layout and I go to edit mode I'm going to select this text and your text is different right and I was then in middle view it did come yeah fine it has been came but it has been uh, came ulta so what I'm going to do is rotate x 80 okay and I just undo it so I got one uh, better idea for this to make it revert go to edit mode okay sorry sorry I just uh, uh, press okay before this uh, we can save this one as one backup so I'm going to do this Mac backup 4 so after saving as backup okay open the recent one don't forget that the master file you have to do the R&Ds so go to hide this one okay here oops something has wrong gone wrong I think so I just go for the last session save so let's see oops so I do one thing I go for the joystick 4 what I have taken the backup so I'm going to press ctrl shift yes and joystick I'm going to overwrite it so now I have uh, came to the normal thing okay now press ctrl a and uh, go to object and convert to Yes, I go to edit mode. Okay, now I go for the metal preview. It's not came up. I select it and Control Shift N, and I re-click it outside and C. Okay, Control Shift N. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's not uh, taking correctly. I just let's see GZ and move up. Okay, finally, uh, it is correct, but it's not came beyond this. So we have to do some alteration in the shading. Go to the shading model. I go to the metal preview. Okay. So then here, I just uh, reduce the roughness and go to the properties and uh, screen base reflection turn on and select this make it alpha blend now you can able to see the textures so I'm going to do the same for this select this make it alpha blend and you can able to see the buttons the same way I am going to do it for everything so uh, now our uh, button has been ready now so and here I am going to do some more changes this transmission also everything so that will let it be the same and this box transmission is 1 and transmission roughness so let it be half and uh, I just reduce it okay and this roughness I am going to reduce it to more so it will come some glassy look and here this surface is base color is white I am going to make it dark slightly dark not much so now I press alt H and I can see my button is ready with the requirements so this is the way it looks and I feel it's uh, too not good so I just reduce it to the black yeah I make it more uh, darkness so which looks better for us 
yeah now looks better so finally our uh, texture has been completed with this and next video i am going to guide you how we can uh, do the texturing for the brand name so here we are going to give the brand name here so that video will be the next video part and until then bye bye friends and if you like the video share it with your friends okay and this ramnas all i am going to release it so it looks nice the reflection will be okay Okay friends let's see it in next video so until then bye bye